let me show you how to knit the open honeycomb stitch. Hey, it's Denise from Lumihat.com. For more information, visit the website. It's a pretty easy stitch. It's got a two stitch pattern repeat. And personally, I put one edge here and two at the end. And I'll explain as I knit. All right, let's start with row one, which is pretty easy. It's just a row of pearls. So I don't slip or skip that first peg. I just go ahead and start um, with my edge with a pearl. You can do a knit or you could slip that stitch if you want. And then all you're gonna do is purl the row. To purl, scoop up the bottom loop create a new loop, take the old one off, put the new one on, and pull. Now keep in mind that this is just a stitch pattern and not a project, and so to know how I cast on or cast off, I'll leave you a link in the description for that video. For row two, you're gonna do one E wrap and then a U wrap. So do your edges and then we're gonna redo the two stitch repeat. And we're gonna start with the E wrap. And so you completely wrap your peg and knit off. These are two versions of the knit stitch. Your next one is gonna be a U wrap. So you half wrap your peg and knit off. And that's your two stitch repeat. E wrap one peg, knit off. U wrap your next peg and knit off. And then just continue. For row three, you're gonna do a knit two together yarn over. And this sounds a lot more difficult than it really is. So you're going to do your edge right here and then your two stitch pattern over and over. And that two stitch pattern is a knit two together here and your peg next to it will have the yarn over. So knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. So let me bring you closer so you can better see what we need to do. You need to have a knit two together on the right, yarn over on the left. That has to come over. So take the loop off the peg on the left, unravel it, bring it to the peg on the right. And now that one has two loops. This one's empty. So you take your working yarn and you're gonna do a knit stitch, a U-wrap knit stitch, in order to do your knit two together. And then that empty one needs the yarn to go over it. But that working yarn needs a place where it can anchor, right? Which would be the peg next to it. But that one needs the two together from this one. So put the yarn down and you need to take the loop off that peg and bring it over to the right where the knit two together is gonna be done and it's gonna be done with your working yarn. So you're gonna bring your yarn over that peg and onto the next one. And then you can do your two together because that working yarn needs a place to anchor. And I hope that makes sense. So your best bet is gonna to be to just take all your yarn overs and bring them to the right, to the peg on the right, where you're gonna do the knit two together. You're gonna to do that ahead of time, again, because the knit two together, when you knit, that yarn's gonna come over for your yarn over. A little confusing, but once you see it in action, you get what I'm saying. See, you do your knit two together, you bring your yarn to the yarn over, and the next knit two together is gonna hold that yarn. It's like they need each other in order for this to work. And now I want you to notice that when you get to the end, that two peg pattern ends with a yarn over. So that's why you need an edge to be the yarn catcher, the anchor, 
right? And then I end with a pearl because I like my edge to look a little crunchy. And then all you're gonna do is end with a row of knit. And that's it, that's your four row stitch pattern. So it's two stitches and four rows, and you're gonna repeat them until you get your desired length. Hey, and did you know that I have a playlist of stitch patterns? So see the description or go to the website and I'll give you a link. There's lots of them. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to share the video because it helps me a lot. Like, comment, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe.